Hi guys, welcome back. It's Amanda and I'm here to do the weekly oracle card reading. And I'm going to use this deck again, this goddess power deck. And actually, after it loads, I'm going to click begin a reading. I know I have told you before since the goddess Mnemosyne came up in the first reading, I was going to use the special guidance spread from the goddess Mnemosyne. And I was going to use that last week, being the week after her card came up. But my niece was visiting last week, and I was just trying to do something very quick before I went to bed at like 7.30 in the morning so that I didn't sleep all day when she was here. So this time what I'm going to do is go ahead and use this special guidance spread from the goddess Mnemosyne. And it's a four-card spread where position one talks about what theme is still active from the past. Position two says what from the past hinders my progress. And position three, what from the past aids my progress. And position four, what action do I need to take now to release the past so I can progress? Okay, and I'm going to try to use this one and see how it ties into the one from two weeks ago where she said something from the past was holding us back and last week where the goddess was telling us to let go of our um, like we were holding on to some kind of a belief that was holding us back I think was the idea so, pick the card for position one. Select the card for position two. Select the card for position three. select the card for position four. Okay, so for card one, position one, what theme is still active from the past? So maybe this will give us some insight if your meditations with the goddesses over the past two weeks haven't given you any insight into what it is that's holding you back. Maybe these cards will help. What theme is still active from the past? Ellen, Patterns. Empowerment message. Okay, we've had reversed messages, reverse cards before with this deck and they've given us an alignment message, something we need to do to get back in alignment with the way we need to be. And now we have an empowerment message, meaning something more positive, I think. Have you noticed patterns in your life that lead to positive experiences? Developing positive habits introduces new patterns into the fabric of reality and will support your dreams as they take form in the material world. It takes awareness and discipline to make this happen, but you can do it. It's time to allow the experience of a new happiness. If you do, the Celtic goddess of paths and patterns, Ellen, will show you will show you a new way to your dreams. All manner of miracles are possible. Now is the time to build bridges across any divides with others that have temporarily separated you. Your path is clear. The way will be shown to you as you make new choices in your life with the goddess known as Ellen of the Ways as your happy guide. Okay, so maybe this is telling us that we used to be this way in the past, and now we need to bring that back. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see some more cards and see how they tie together. Oops. Card position two. What from the past hinders my progress? So this is kind of what is holding us back. Yuki Ona. Stillness. Empowerment message. The Japanese goddess of winter, Yuki Ona, calls you to a practice of daily meditation and stillness to prepare you for greater productivity and results. 
Being open and receptive, slowing down, and allowing for time to dream activates your partnership with the universe so you can truly set your intentions in motion. Then, almost without effort, you discover their vibrational match in the world of form. Just as the life force quietly builds within a seed buried under snow, so too will the energy build in the seed of your desires before manifesting with no effort on your part. You will find how easy it is to co-create while implementing a practice of stillness and receptivity. Let others make the first move at this time as you assess and observe the world around you from the profound position of stillness and neutrality. In this way, the world becomes more intimate, yet you know and take nothing personally. When the goddess Yuki Ona comes to support you, be still. This calls in the miracles. The action now is non-action. Okay, so if this is saying that what is hindering you from the past, maybe it means you are not doing this, or maybe it means that you are doing too much of this, of just waiting and expecting something to happen instead of taking action or asking for the goddess for help. I'm not sure. I'm a little bit confused with this one, to be honest, so far. Card position three. What from the past aids my progress? Ostara. New beginnings. Ostara. New beginnings. Empowerment message. Hope and new life are blossoming Hope and new life are blossoming everywhere in your life right now, and this is something to celebrate. The Germanic goddess Ostara, the Germanic goddess Ostara, sings to you and assures you that your intentions have lain dormant long enough. When she appears, bearing the fertile power behind the coming of the spring, you may feel a surge of energy to implement your your new ideas. You feel strong and capable of accomplishing so much at this time as a sense of new as a sense of newness permeates your life. Fresh opportunities come out of nowhere and seemingly drop onto your lap. You feel a readiness as you are truly poised for success in whatever interests you. Allow for new experiences to be what they are by adopting a beginner's mind. You remain open to what life has to offer you, and you'll be so glad you did. Enjoy this wonderful time of new beginnings, and welcome the gifts the goddess Ostara has in store just for you. Okay, I'm not sure what to say. Um, So, I do, I guess... Um, I don't know how it's something from the past helping you, though. But I think if you've been stuck, now's the time to... I don't know. I just sound... I feel redundant saying this. Let go of something from the past and something new and better is coming soon if you just open up and let the goddess help and guide you okay so let's see position four what action do i need to take now to release the past so i can progress i am assuming that is ye the sun that's a really pretty card ye the sun empowerment message When you shine your light into the world, you will attract various people and experiences that match or challenge your commitment to being empowered. Right now, you are receiving information to know which one. Right now, you are receiving information to know which choice to make, which opportunity, which opportunity to take, and which person to trust. The Aboriginal Australian Sun God. The Aboriginal Australian Sun Goddess Yi illuminates your path with her rays and with her rays and brings clarity as she shows you what you need to know a bright light who attracts a lot of bugs a bright light also attracts a lot of bugs so now that you may also so know that you may also 
attract those who see themselves smaller as a result of your empowerment. This is conditioning that needs to be healed in many people in the world. All you all you can do is be an incandescent all you can do is be incandescent and joyful, kind and truthful, and the world will begin to reflect the goodness back to you. The goddess Yi is happy to help you shine. Okay, so basically just step into your own power after you let go of what is holding you back from the past and ask for the goddess to assist you in letting things go and being receptive for new and better things to come. Um, just by looking at the cards with the words in the order of what they're talking about, um, I just feel a simple message of you need to break old patterns from the past in order to get what you want and maybe um, take a moment of meditation and say goodbye to those old, old patterns that are holding you back. And, um, like, like taking a moment of silence for losing something or letting go of something. And then you will be, then you will be blessed with new beginnings and everything will be better, more bountiful, more. You will be blessed with new beginnings that are happier and brighter and more bountiful and more. You will see more abundance in the future once you let go of those things from the past that are holding you back. So I know that this one doesn't feel as, by reading the cards, this one didn't feel as easy for me to read. But just by looking at these, um, it's just a way of wrapping up what we've been talking about this month with letting things go from the past and um, breaking old patterns, sitting in stillness with that, letting that go, um, feeling a peace with releasing something from your past in order to open you up for new, brighter beginnings. And things will be bright and better than ever in the future. This may cause some issues with people around you because there are always those people that try to put you down for something whenever you're doing well or feeling well. Um, there's always someone that kind of sucks your energy out when you're feeling well. But you have to... Um, be aware that those people will be there trying to hold you back, but you can't let them hold you back anymore. You just have to shine in your beauty and your light that is meant for you and be happy and move into your future with more, more in every way, more abundance, more love, more health, more wealth, and more happiness. And that's all that I have for you today, and thanks as always for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos with anyone who you think may be interested, and have a blessed day. Bye!